yeah, so it looks like both teams are ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and kick this sucker off and get this thing rolling. All right, so coming out, first attack, uh, we saw them run some pretty unique comps, right, on uh, Oasis. So I, I really want to see what they, end up, what they end up doing here. to V double shield with the, with the Hanzo. So we're seeing a lot of different versatility and I think, you know, being unpredictable can really throw your opponent off. They're not gonna run the Samba. Yo, Zenyatta, soccer kitty, the legend, uh, bringing out Zenyatta here. I, I, I like it, I, I just, I worry that she's gonna get annihilated. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. Coming out from the attack, though, you see um, and Andrando and Futuristic Corey on the hit scan. Those two, uh, just a lethal combination for Wholesome Squad this last time around, but they couldn't quite make it happen. They're gonna look to try and do that here. So we'll go ahead and start out. We're gonna spectate uh, Andrando to start because this is gonna be the high value pick. Uh, I lied to you both. We're gonna start with Futuristic because he's got the damage buff. Give me those. Foreheads coming in. They're going to try and go ahead and push around on the left side, take a little bit of a high ground, but it looks like Futuristic's going to continue rotating through on the low ground. Damage boost no longer on him. Oh, that was almost a massive halt. Damage coming through from the high ground since they're not going to contest and they don't really have anybody available to get up there. Damage is just going to rain down from above. This, this is, is going to be a nightmare. And you see actually the environment. <laughs> Kill kill with the mine. You very rarely ever see that. Yeah, they're just gonna stand there, and just eat bullets to the face until they move. And you see, they finally back off, but only after they lose one of their tanks. Uh, you, I think you're gonna have to play dice here, man. I, I think the Zenyatta and the Junkrat are getting so so much value, and uh, you, you you have to take the Zenyatta out. If you take the Zen out, you're gonna be in a fantastic spot. He's also yeah. like all by himself on on the other side of the high ground, so. Yeah, they also have they also have eye uphill on this junk rat. Seventy five percent to this rip tire already, just funneling damage down range. Right, double shield. He's gonna shred through it. They're not gonna have the damage output behind them. He's about to have rip tire coming out right now. Only two minutes left on the clock. This is gonna be tough. Uh, Andrando doing a great job on her, and though there comes the rip tire coming through. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> absolutely massive and yeah that's gonna be the end of that push i mean if you didn't want to call it a push there really wasn't anything going on whatsoever yeah two minutes 20 seconds now burnt off the clock almost halfway gone and you know i guess the only good thing right now you can say is that soccer kitty only 50 percent of the transcendence so uh obviously like playing very far away is then you ought to very much a glass cannon but you have to put yourself in a bit of danger to really be able to land those shots so no transcendence available right now again, but it's going to come down to pick him off. That's basically so, so important. Yeah, great use of the concussion grenade. Pushes Ebony B forward. Gravitic Flux getting tons of value right there from Assassin. Not able to pick up any of the kills here, but the entirety of Wholesome Squad just stuck inside this room. Bob's going to come out, pick up two, but the rest of the kill feed turning red in favor. Oh no, there it is! Huge Supreme Penguin with the kill on Nice Yeti. Picks up the res, bringing him back. And this is, a, is this a 6v1 right now? This is a... a yeah. A, it's an opportunity. Listen, Uphill is going to be able to come back. Uphill has been higher. And so I like the positioning though, just getting the Arisa, the only... The basic... Plane. Tire coming up now too. This could be the end of... Oh, you lose the Arisa. Yeah. The Resurrection going to be available. I think it'd be just about to come back online. Yeah, great swap from Futuristic. He's going to go ahead and pick up the Genji just to contest the high ground. Goes in deep. Picks up the kill on Ambit, but uh, gets taken down by himself. Soccer Kitty fragging out. Picks up two. And looks like they're going to stop that push. Gets about 61% of the way. Good opportunity now. You're going to have the Gravity Flux and the Coalescence. Eventually, the Combo V. Not going to have any defense Seconds. available. If you can use that Gravity Flux, get your opponents into the air. The landing of deal 50% of your opponent's HP gone. 
We might be able to tumble that with the coalescence if possible. They're gonna try and push their way back through. Gravitic Flux coming out. Ooh, there's the coalescence. He's gonna try and give them a little bit of juice just to push their way back in. Gravitic Flux coming out from Ebony B. Picks up nobody, but it does force Ambit off the high ground. No Soldier 76 on the defense for Death Streak Assassins here. Into overtime, doing what they can. A soccer kitty up in the back, raining damage down range. And you see over here on the left side of your screen. There it is. Futuristic on the Genji finds the finds uphill, takes him down. Futuristic Kitty is not going quietly into this good night. Finally gets taken down, but they waste a ton of time trying to do it, Maza. Yeah, they, they took so much time to try to get that first point. I do think the swap to the Genji was a good one. We saw it work earlier today in the Xbox game, and yeah, so being able to you know, control the high ground better with the Genji, provide pressure, so, so important. Yeah, and, and now finally getting that payload moving uphill is going to happen very shortly. So potentially what you could do as well if you get the tire is uh, when the blade comes out, just tire the Genji. I think blade is uh, <laughs> a counter. It could just be to you know, use the tire, honestly. Yeah, right? So uh, they're doing a great job here. They're pushing their way forward, trying to get a little bit of value. Futuristic does have this dragon blade in his pocket. So just waiting to see where this comes out. But it looks like they're not going to need it. Oh no, Soccer Kitty picks up. Oh no, that's just Bob. Get out of here, Bob. <laughs> yes, Bob. It's like Soccer Kitty fragging out again. Huge and, reflect. Yeah, on. yeah, Helix Rocket Kill. The Triforce actually on that field right there. No, that feel, man. Futuristic coming in big. Trying to find a foothold. A minute and a half gone, and they're pushed off the payload. This Streets phase can be a disaster. Yeah, using that. There it is. Matrix now. Gonna have to back off, but a nice kill on the Sock Kitty. That no resurrection available. You're not running the Mercy. Coalescence can be coming out now, too. Unlucky. And yeah, I just, just, just as I predicted, you know, right there. Blade well, able to cut down the soldier, but the tire finds the kill on the Begenji. Well, he used the blade after the Rip Tire, so it, it was already. Uh, questionable decisions yeah, are cool. questionable all around. Huge concussion mine from Uphill picks up to. And that's going to turn this entire fight, yeah, uphill, just fragging out of his mind right now. A Junkrat should not be allowed to do this. A Junkrat should not have 70% to yet another rip tire yeah. after using... I mean, okay, it's fat, but, dude, it, it's it's ridiculous. Are we sure that's not Echo? What? Yes, 650% all charge, right? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. Yeah. So, coming back in here, they're going to need uh, Androndo to farm this Bob pretty quickly to try and win this fight. Ebony B catches three in the Gravitic Flux, gets the kill on I uphill, so immediately 5v6 out of the gate. This is the one they need. Transcendence coming out from Soccer Kitty in the back line. Here's the Bob. There it comes, right into the heart of the enemy team. Gets it strategically in front of... No, on top of the payload! We have ourselves a bootleg bastion, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. <laughs> Firing right through the amplification window, picks up two, and the kill feed is red in favor of the wholesome squad. Just beautifully well done. It took everything to get there, but you got to spend it to get there today, right? Like, you got to get it. Very true. One thing I would probably like to see from, from either side would be to see some on a play. You know, I mean, maybe not right now when you a game, but, uh, you know, it was just one good violate. You can deny so much value from the, the Moira. We saw it earlier today as well. Ooh, big. Andrando Even finds... Team shooting to run finds Nice Yeti in the back line. There comes the Rip Tire coming out. It's going to try and fish around the back. Picks up the kill on Infinite Demons. No mercy on the field for uh, the Wholesome Squad as they try to push their way forward, so they cannot res to get back into the fight. That's huge. Bob's going to come out onto point, sets up shop right next to the payload. The Earth Shatter oh, picks up two. And the Monster the Shatter brings it home, baby. Let's go, dude. Five remaining as well, which I don't think many people expected, given how well the Streets Hold was, was doing. You know, like leaving it to, I mean, and, and the first point as well. Capping both, I believe, in overtime. But then to cap third with time remaining... 
Yeah, dude. I I did not expect that at all. I a hundred and one hundred and twenty percent expected them to get uh, get stopped in streets phase, or uh, to make it to this corner right here at the end of uh, point three, and then stall out because this point this corner right here is where uh, where hopes and dreams go to die. I, I I can't say it enough. Not my favorite map in the game. <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, it's, it's beautifully, beautifully designed, actually. Um, love the way it looks, but uh, not, a, not a huge fan. So, coming in, you're going to see, yes, the Torb. Torbjorn. Yeah, this is, even when Torb wasn't the most meta pick, not that he's ever been, like, you know, super meta until recently, but you did see a lot of Torb on first point defense. Um, yeah, I think notably, thinking yeah, back to... Apex Season 2 or 3 Ooh. with Lunatic High winning wow. uh, one of their, their uh, first championship. Throwing it right back, dude. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's it, it's definitely doable, and especially you can, with his new, uh, the fact that you can project the turret, but you put it in some really cheeky positions yes. here. Well, also the fact that he has the extra armor health as yeah. well. Uh, like, for, for example, now a Hanzo headshot will not kill him. There has to be a bit of follow-up. So that's uh, really... The, like, the damage breakpoints now are, are just over enough to the point where Torb is a much bigger threat. And his okay. ability is through the roof. Okay, I like what they're doing here. So you see right here... Yeah, okay. I, I don't like that. Well, <laughs> what I was this, saying is that Nice Yeti was doing a great job of scouting. Yeah. But then just, just like overcommitted. Nice Yeti has been picked off first very, very often. We saw it on Oasis a lot, and this... here as well. Like it's, I, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why it's happening so much. Well, just, the, uh, like, yeah, yeah, your, your ball, like you, use your shields, get out of there. You, you cannot be giving six hundred HP worth of ultimate drop. No, you cannot. Because what you end up with is a forty a, a Torbjorn with forty percent of molten core by the time the first fight breaks out, and those are things you just cannot do. Uh, what you have here, Eye Uphill doing a phenomenal job of contesting the high ground, picks up a kill on Ebony B with the help from Assassin. Ambit just funneling damage down range, but the turret up top is going to make quick work of him, and that's yeah, going to be the end like, of that uh, push. Grandma Grandma fell, uh, unfortunately, by herself, it would seem. So, Soccer Kitty off the map really early on there. And, and that sucks, too, because Assassin got the first yeah. onto Ebony B. And then you lose your Ana, and, you know, that's all she wrote. Sometimes it doesn't matter, dude. You find the entry frag, and it just uh, doesn't add up. But tons of ult shards ticking up here for Andrando with the damage boost coming in. He's going to get a ton of value here. 80% to Bob. Yo, there's, mm, 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 there's nice yeti. So you see, a little, little bit of miscommunication there. Oh, beautiful, Do Doofus getting the opening frag under the mercy. No resurrection available. And, mo and monkeys find out who would win between a monkey and a dwarf. Spoiler alert! Uh, it's a dwarf. <laughs> Damage being kind of thrown all over the place. Ambit tries to get out with his life, but pays for it instead. And yeah, so what, what, Ooh. what we're seeing here is pretty much a very anti-dive. Like, Torbjorn is very, very difficult to die with the uh, overload ability, giving him extra armor, giving him extra damage. Yeah. And just for basically just forcing this dive. And it's not, it's only now, at the very end. Here we go. Yeah, it, 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 little little miscommunicated, right? Like, they they had the right idea, but you kind of saw it. Where Nice Yeti engaged, and then a couple seconds later, sixty seconds remaining. Yeah, now we're swapping completely. Now going back onto the Sombra, but I can you get the EMP with fifty seconds left in on New Bonnie, where you you have to translocate back out. The thing is, New Bonnie attacking first point, it's far. Like I think it's out of all the hybrid maps, I think the is the farthest for the attacker. They're going to try and push their way back in here. A couple things to keep in mind. They did swap uh, uphill, did switch over to the Sombra here. They need 30 seconds to try and charge the EMP. It's doable. Uh, unlikely. And that that was actually super well played. So Sombra in the back line got the kill onto the Moira. Packed Demon so she couldn't get the resurrection off onto the Moira. So that's beautifully played. 
Yikes, dude. Okay, so that's going to be a huge TNT. 90% to another Bob here. That's a risky Guardian Angel. Bob's coming out on point. He's going to try and just throw every resources, <laughs> every resource they have onto the point, try and keep the dream alive. It's not going to work. Kill's starting to come through. There's the EMP. No, uphill. Okay. All right, well, you know, it looked good. For just a second. Yeah. His Sombra is so good. It's like, I you really wonder, why didn't you just play that the whole time? Dude, I don't... You were running dive. Dude, like, just... Yeah. You just run to Sombra, man. Like, the, there's a team in Korea, right? Element Mystic, who ran Doha and Sparkle. Basically, if you had a, a Doomfist and a Sombra player... A combination of Doomfist Sombra can be very, very effective. Yeah. And we've seen these teams run, are capable of running, Doomfist and Sombra. Um, just get uphill on the Sombra. Or just, I would say, or... Uh... Yeah, I would say, just get, get him on the Sombra. You know, you had him playing the Junkrat there for some... Like, for, for so... I mean, yeah, okay, you were getting value. But it's like, on attack... You need to cap that point. You want to get the EMP. And he's so good with it. Yeah, right? Like It's like, why? Yeah, what are, what are you doing, man? Come on. <laughs> like, there's no need. There's no need. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, they, they're going to try and get the get the job done. This is a 1-1 one, one match right now. Uh, each team taking a, taking a map. Uh, next map up is Volskaya Industries, so this is going to be a Nailbiter. Uh, we've already seen that Death Streak Assassins is really good at these long, drawn-out, brawly fights. Uh, what they were not good on this last game, last map was coordinated attack to try and take the point. So they're really going to need to Oh, kinda... and when you're running dive, that's the name of the game. It's coordination. Like You have to be calling up those targets. You need to identify your prey and go in. Right, and it, it it just wasn't happening, and I I think that had they run the Sombra, I think that would have been much better for them. Yeah, I mean, not only not only are they fragging out on Sombra, um, but the wholesome squad just doesn't have an answer for it. So uh, we're gonna we're, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna if you give us just a quick second, guys real quick intermission we're going to check in with the captain see what subs or changes need to be made and we'll be right back with you
they know what he's talking about. Um, the other, oh, uh, also, correction, so I've been calling him Ebony B. Apparently his name is just E. So that's me, that's my bad. Uh, if there's anyone else that I'm mispronouncing, please tell me. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes I can't read, so it happens. All right, so coming in here on the attack, oh, please tell me that they run. They're going to run the Torb again, dude. Futuristic's going to run the Torb. Let's do it. I, I really don't know about this attack, Junkrat, man. I, I hope you're teasing. I think you're teasing. If they do run it, it, it would be... You can't, you can't. You can't run it. You can't run it into double shield with the Ash and the Torb. You it's can't. On, it's on you defense. Can't. It's on defense. No. No. Oh, you're, you're talking You're talking the, uh, the Hanzo... He up uphill, yeah. Like, hey man, I don't know. He was he was eating last game, so I mean, he's gonna try and do it again here. Yeah, it's an interesting place to put to put the turret. Um, I don't hate it, but it's it's weird that you that you would place the turret here and then not hold forward to give the turret space to work. But uh, turret's already down. Andrando finds an early kill on distill here. You're gonna throw the turret up top. Yeah, you got the back go. Now you've you've already lost two. This is gonna be so so difficult to push in. And the thing is too, like for so much space denial, like like both the, the loose skill to be able to speed in the brig. Yeah, you're gonna be able to swap swapping now a uh, soccer kitty onto the Zenyatta, I think is a much, yeah. much better pick than to run the brig. Just because you don't have the Lucio, you like you can't speed boost in. Even getting any value out of a brig in the form of the, the passive the uh, inspire right, right, is right. not going to happen. Yeah, totally agree. And the other thing is is the soccer kitty is gonna get just tons of value on that torm turret, right? Like alt fire, five ball, turret's gone. Not a problem anymore. So yeah. And you see that right here. They're pushing their way in. That Bob's going to cause a lot of problems in the back line. They do a great job of focusing it down. Bob goes away. They're going to try and push their way back around on this left side. Brilliant TNT over the shield. Ticking down damage 25% to another Bob. There comes the amplification matrix. Sig on Sig crime here in the back line. E in a tough position away from his team. He's not going to be able to get away. Andrando goes down in the back line, but Infinite Demons with the res brings him back in the fight. Coming out. Nah, he's just a tire, though. Yes. Don't think Fort Blue is entire load there whatsoever. Uh, oh. Free, free. Oh, 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 oh. Uphill gets the tire kill, immediately uses the concussion grenade to take the high ground, and gets the picks up the kill on Andrando. Trying to just frag out again here. Picks up the kill on Infinite Demon. Somebody stop this man. The guy is losing his mind on point on this junk rat. Yeah, it, you, like you love to see it. I don't know if it's necessarily the best pick. I think against better teams, it wouldn't work out whatsoever. But you know, making me eat my words a bit right now. I, I feel like Wolf right now. You know, from Overwatch League, how he always just gets things wrong recently. But you know, whatever. And yeah, what are you gonna do, right? So. Cast recurs, or in this case, I'm benefiting him as I didn't. I don't know. It's working out regardless. For now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're they're gonna be able to kind of push their potential way. with the uh, gravitic flux. Not gonna be able to use that, but what if gravitic flux the dragon? Yeah. He actually using his flux as well, and they use the amplification matrix as well. So going into this next fight. Uh, this is looking really, really good, actually, for SS. Not, not, I got a little SS. Right, 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 the yeah. Sigma as well, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, right, they're, they're all doing great. Um, so they're going to try and push their way back in here, you so see. The, the economy is absolutely fantastic. And they're basically six ultimates about to be zero. Bob will be able to make it a seven. Oh, so Dragon man, Strike but... comes across point, just still picks up two. Like gets rid of the Supercharger, finds the kill on Supreme Penguin. Futuristic takes down this still after his absolute rampage. Looks like Futuristic on the high ground is going to go down himself. A Kiwi Salad just taking over on their own on this Baptiste. Soccer Kitty finding the foreheads. Picks up the double kill on point. Transcendence in the pocket. 
to ready to be used if needed to stabilize. The art of Dot Oh man. Oh that's absolutely big and bot dragging out. And it all goes wrong. Oh my goodness. The Bob just tunnel visioned on Soccer Kitty, put her in the grave. And uh, along with it, all the hopes that Death Streak Assassins had to try and cap the point there first try. 47% gone, though. That's nothing to scoff at. So win, loser, no draw here. Uh, no draw on the table at this time. Here, I would, I would honestly lose. Like, I feel like we're doing good of the jump rep, but I feel like, again, like, your Sombra play has just been so good, and EMP is such a good ultimate that I don't I don't think that's the best idea. D still going on to the Widowmaker. Oh, it's yeah. double barrier. I don't know if that's the right call either, because E can just so easily shut that down. Nice use of a shield as well. Oh. Me chin from the enemy signal. That is an unfortunate grappling hook. So you see, you see, Distill is just trying to focus both snipers uh, here from the wholesome squad. Picks up the kill on Supreme Pingu though. Oh, there it is. Pull, fire away. Picks up the kill there on Futuristic. Uh, Electric Walnut going down. Kills are in favor of Death Streak Assassins here, but if they don't put them away quickly, it's not going to matter. Remember, spawn, spawn advantage is in favor of Wholesome Squad here. Mm. And they're not yeah, going to get enough, that second man. tick. It, it, it looked very much like that second tick was going to be going their way. And, you know, I said earlier in the show, man, I wish 2CP oh. was 25% ticks and a 33. Well, they would have had a second tick if that was how, it, how the game went. Right, Not yeah. To Dude, Andrando picks up two quick kills there to get Bob again. I, I... Blizzard, give us access to the stats, man. All we want is an API import. I want to know how many Bobs Andrando has called in on just defense. It's got to be close to five or six at this point. It's out of control. Yeah, having a second man on 2CP could be so effective because Bob counts as a seventh man. So it's like you can contest, you can help cap. It's right. a very, very effective. Oh, big pick from Distill. Finds a kill on Andrando in the back line. Dragon Strike's going to try and come across the point. There comes the Rip Tire coming out. It's still going. Rip Tire making its way onto point. Tries to find big value. Does Gets infinite dragons in the back line. So there is no res online right now for the Wholesome Squad. Death Streak Assassins pushing their way forward. And they're going to cap it with time left, dude. 24 seconds still on the clock. I'd say yeah. if there's a way to yeah. do it by the skin of your teeth, look no further. You know, they keep doing it by the skin of their teeth. We saw it on uh, Nubani as well earlier. Uh, this able able to cap. I mean that was. Uh... This is gonna. You know, be I, I did. One. I did say earlier both of these teams do have like despite the map record obviously being in favor of, of archangel dsa um a wholesome squad like they, they've the map schedule how, how the schedule has worked these teams have played a lot of the same opponents and they've they've had, had similar map scores in, in some of these series so despite the fact that you are 0-3 and and is two and one it's not it's not the whole story you know i think there's a lot of a lot of good in this team yeah and i feel like we say that all the time but uh i think it i think it holds definitely holds true here with the uh, the level of picks and the or the, the the hero picks i should say and the flexibility that they're showing right now definitely has a lot to offer um <laughs> so Coming out here on the attack, you're gonna see Futuristic Cory on. Future... No, it's not Futuristic Cory. It's Futuristic Oreo. My man's name is Oreo. Guys, I really wish. I think my brain just up. exploded. No, well, you know what? It, reading, reading can be difficult. You know, like especially with the education system in the U.S., like it's absolutely a. <laughs> Yo, oh, don't go there, man. Come on. My, my wife's a teacher, dog. An English teacher at that. You think I know better? <laughs> it's so bad. Um, all right. Coming in here. Ooh, just oh, about gets the headshot there. The yeah, Oreo getting crazy amount of value here. 30% of the Dragon Strike. He needs to push uphill off the high ground. Someone needs to make yeah, uphill so go downhill. <laughs> Got him. Uh, Oreo finds the... 
Yeah, Oreo finds the kill on Assassin and then goes down himself. Is still taking off his counter. Just fragging out. He's able to just sit in this backline and funnel damage down range pretty much completely uncontested. Someone has got... There it is. <laughs> Rondo gets the res and then immediately focuses down his counterpart. Uh, but the res comes through for... Wow. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, the res comes through for the uh, wholesome squad and they does the exact same thing. That TNT is going to get crazy value. Ori is going to go down. Bob on point, just funneling down damage. And still with the quad kill. Can he get the five? He can with a little bit of help from Bob. Somebody clipped that. We need to put that in the highlight, highlight reel. Yeah, getting by a little bit of help from his friends and Bob, absolutely. Hey, man. Friends. Nothing wrong with having a few friends. So much Bob's. Ain't that the truth, dude? Man pops off, gets a, gets a uh, quintuple kill. And then throws his dynamite and misses it three shots in a row. Like, if there's a, if I've ever seen a mood, that's one of them. The still's gonna go down right here to a well placed oh, TNT from Androndo. I'm gonna get the resurrection onto Ash. Choosing to as res the Ash, not the Junkrat. Surprisingly enough. Oh, is that TNT gonna work? It does not. Does not find the kill there on Mercy. Infinite Dragon staying alive, the Bob's being thrown all the way over to the right side. Questionable positioning because it's not going to contest the Ash in the back. That TNT is going to do the job for him though. A little bit of help from Oreo there, picking up the kill on the Dragon Blade. Hey, say no more, Ash. Say no more. Brilliantly done. So, fi finally able to cap that point, A, eh? but we saw pretty much, much everything get used. Yeah, we'll have a cool lesson for this fun. Yeah. Looking pretty, pretty difficult. Actually, your Sigma is way in the back, so no, no. You're, you're still going in with this one. I don't really approve. <laughs> I don't approve. Oreo is trying to find value in the back line here. Goes deep to try and get the kill on Infinite Dragons. Doesn't, or excuse me, on Soccer Kitty. Doesn't find it. He's gonna be forced to back out. Yeah, the whole fight's devolving around point at this point. Miraculously still alive in the back line though is Oreo dodging so, d does get hit by the dynamite like, yeah. though and does fall and that's just gonna begin a nice little distraction I guess both have 35 percent all charge in the process so going for that dragon blade again. Well I'll say it it's it's incredible restraint from um a kiwi salad and distill. He they knew Oreo was in the back line, he had dove right on top of him. But then as soon as the fight broke out on point, they almost they peeled off of the pursuit from Oreo and came back to point to help. Um, the whole time, Oreo was still running away, trying to stay alive. So, uh, wonderful job understanding what their win condition was and where the priority lied. Uh, and Drondo trying to frag out again. Bob's going to come on point, pick up huge. That's a really cool Gets the knock up and then follows it up for the kill on Assassin. Riptire is going to come out, gets Futuristic Oreo, but uh, Androndo just fragging out of their mind right now. There it is. It's a good halt as well, and I got the Mercy get away. Onto the ball now. It's trying to stall. Well placed TNT. I like the Winston pick here. Lots of, lots to be done. It's not going to matter though. Yeah, it's not good. Going vertical is only going to put you in the line of sights of Androndo, and the man does not yeah. miss right now. You ever use rock throw on a mankey? I think it's super. Rock throw on a mankey. There comes the supercharger giving him that little bit of extra juice to try and finish it out. Not gonna need it. Dragon Blade comes out for futuristic Oreo. Enough said. So what one minute to work with? Yeah. Does this change up what you want to run at all? I, I think the thing is like okay. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running, I'm running dive, bro. I'm running dive. Uh, at, at this yeah, point, dude. At, at this point, like I don't. I don't know what they run. But wasn't uphill the one that was just eating people alive earlier on Sombra? Put him on Sombra. What like? Ready for battle. Potentially. Nope. Potential. <laughs> We're gonna run May Hanzo instead. So what do I know, man? I don't know anything. May Hanzo I mean, with a I mean, He was running the uh the junk rap before you know and, and having effect with that on, on the attack, but opting to uh to go May instead. Sure. So I don't know what they will be doing.
didn't it take them a ton of time though like wasn't that the big issue is that it took them a lot of time to build that up the the issue now is they only have 60 seconds dog 60 seconds do or die at this point because this is this is the map you need to take to keep the hope alive Roadhog now too actually yo love to see me some roadie bro let's uh i want to this is gonna this is gonna be the hook of justice right here he's gotta burn down this barrier okay okay nope and, yeah. <laughs> that is not what you want to see man got <laughs> The it's chunky like HP just down the, the, the chunky boy just rounds the corner and eats 600 damage to the face. That's that's not good. Things are not looking up for our heroes. Uh, Pulsum with a st spectacular hold right here on the high ground. I love where they're set up. This turret's going to get a ton of value because it's... Oh, 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 oh no! Gosh. Oh my! Or <laughs> man, they take another big dino. Jeez. And just, <laughs> just, no, oh my God. I can't even finish my sentence before Androndo finds another kill. Dude, it's, it's like he's in his mind. These The foreheads are the size of beach balls and he just can't miss. Incredible. Yes. Those Ash Blasts definitely uh, coming into effect for sure. Like the extra ammo, the, the quicker shots. Initiating... Well, this is all part of the hero bands too, right? Like even after the patch came through, she still wasn't super viable, right? Like she did a lot. Uh, um, I think you. Go ahead. No, she she just is she's a uh, much much better now. I think she, uh, she might even be slightly. I think with the extra ammo that she she was given recently. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. You and know, just because dynamite, dynamite, is super, super insane. Yeah, well, it's it's a it's a splash damage bleed. Like that's that's incredible. It's gonna get yeah. tons of value, man. But uh, coming in here, both teams it seems that you know, you want to play grouped up. It's like against five is kind of value with boom, like get get like you know farm so many bobs out dynamite. Plus, the thing with Bob too is Bob does snowball because when Bob is so once you get your first one, you know, once you pop the thunder and go. That's, that's kind of ludicrous. That's kind of ludicrous that your ult charge, ult charges up while Bob is out. That's that's just out of control. All right, so uh, Futurist Agorio is going to try and peek this left side here, try and find an early kill. Oh, the halt just about cost him his life here. There comes the dynamite coming through. TNT package does not get the kill. Love what they're doing here. The coordination, you can see it from Wholesome Squad. The halt goes out. The Hanzo arrow follows it. Follow it. with the res immediately as I'm kind of just fall. You gotta get the band back together, man. You gotta have 6v6 going in here. It's just no hope right out of the gate. Doing what he can, Futuristic Oreo trying to contest uphill on the high ground, and it's just not there. Uh, the one thing they do have working in their favor, Wholesome Squad does have plenty of time on the clock. Two minutes left, so they can do some of these kind of dry pushes. There's no way that TNT connects. I was like, I was about to lose my mind if that thing bounced off the car around the corner. That's some, uh, that's some Angelina Jolie wanted curve your bullets type <laughs> stuff, man. That's out of control. They're trying to come back in now. A couple of switches here. Futuristic Oreo switching over to the McCree off of the Hanzo. I like this pick. Hit scan's going to be a little more reliable. Um, they lose some of the other uh, utility that Hanzo provides from his ultimate to his... Hmm. Well-timed flashbang shuts that down, but uh, neither here nor there. Damage coming through. Nobody's really able to connect with uphill over there. There it is! I say it! Androndo finds the headshot, puts him in the grave. Rez comes through, brings uphill back into the fight. Bob comes onto the point, doing something. And uh, damage being thrown out all over the place. Nobody going down just yet, but the damage has got to be coming in. Uh, unlucky. E steps off the map. That's not what you want to see. And it looks like... Uh, oh, uh, some... Yeah, Destrick uh, Assassin is going to stabilize. You know, I, I like to think maybe it was just call for an early... I don't know, we'll dog. A... <laughs> <laughs> he, died. he was like the second one dead that fight, so... You, you will have a Gravitic available, but oh. one thing... Not 
you catch your McCree in that. <laughs> because if you do that, then he's just gonna dead on. Ooh, you hate to fun. see it. They're gonna try and push their way around. I like what they're doing here. Damage amplification on and Rondo. Well, oh, look at look at this man! The cheeky backdoor dead eye is about to come out. There's no oh, defensive you. ultimate on the resurrection. Does he? Oh my God! Just still put the team on your back, though, bro. Eat your heart you gotta out. close it out, bro. Here we go. Keep the dream alive, and we're gonna draw on Volskaya after Distill. The patience. I would have pulled the trigger on that man like way sooner, but he he has the patience to stand in there. And it's not even. Oh, uh, this has got to be the the quintuple kill though. Oh, he gets assists on every one of Get them. Get out of here, dude. Yo, cl clip both of those. Clip both of those. We, we get that from two angles. You know what? There might be enough time between them. You might be... That's awesome. That, that's that's insane right there. Dude, that's, that's nuts. We, I mean, we just got to see the whole thing from two different angles. So, you know, uh, silver lining. So with that, we actually... Uh, so that's going to be a big old fat draw here on Volskaya. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, let's, yeah. uh, so let the record we'll show. Make, yeah, we'll make Route 66 now be... Oh. You know, pend pending a... A ridiculous payload draw, which is very unlikely. I need you to take uh, everything you just said and just get it right on out of here. I don't need that kind of evil in my life. I, if, I swear to God, if I ever see a payload draw, I'm going to lose my mind. I've seen it. Like, that's never happened to me, but I've seen it. Ugh, the draw. I mean, that, that I remember, draw. I don't think it's ever happened in the history of organized play. Mm, those quick play warriors out there. Been... You said it has so happened. Like, right? first... Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's two ways that could happen, right? The first way is no, you need. Sure, sure, which, sure. Which, which uh, teams on PC actually sometimes do when uh, one team has a known cheater, they will basically both teams will agree to destroy it by not moving the payload at all. Um, the other way, and this is actually the most the more common way, is if. Both teams get all three points, and it would be extra rounds, right? Mm -hmm. um, normally, upon capping a point, there is like a door that has to open or a gate, something like. That. And if basically the payload comes to a crawl for a brief period of time, and if the team gets held, um, if it happens twice, basically, that's when there's likely to be a draw. So, huh? Yeah, I learned. Basically, in uh, those kind of positions. I never knew. That's really the only time where uh, the payload can get off at exactly the same point for both teams. Is if uh, both teams have already capped all three and it goes to extra attacks. Well, we're about to see it. Um, we are in the process right now of checking to see if the teams need any subs or swaps or updates. Uh, in the meantime, guys, please do give us a follow. Check out all of our social medias. Uh, pretty sure we're Console Gaming League uh, across the board. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, we have our own Reddit. Check that out. Join our Discords. Um, honestly, it, it, that's how that's the best way to stay up to date. We do these uh, Friday Night Overwatch events every Friday. We try to do a double header. We're getting this is our first PlayStation event, but we're starting to get more and more included. So uh, if you wanna 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 catch some more of this high octane Overwatch, you're gonna wanna join us every Friday night between the hours of seven and nine p.m. Seven and ten p.m. Excuse me. Um, and we'll be here. So give us one quick second. We're going to go ahead and check in with the team captain, see if we can't get the updates. They're ready to go. And we will be right back with you.
All right, everyone, looks like we got the go ahead. So we're gonna come in here for the decisive map for Route 66. This is gonna be a big one, man. You know, something that I really, uh, really enjoy is a good old fashioned Torbjorn defense on Route 66, my man. Um, I don't know if, uh, if you did, but I, I remember watching a YouTube series by a YouTuber named, uh, by the name of Lord Quinzelin, I think, way back in the day. Like, right when the game first came out, made these, like, incredible YouTube tutorial videos that I thought were just spectacular. And, uh, they don't make it videos anymore, it's sad. Except for, uh, April Fools. Every year on April Fools Day, they show up and make a new video, and they have for, like, the last two years. But, uh, anyway, where I'm going with the story and my, uh, ramblings is they had a really, really good Torbjorn tutorial for Route 66. Like, there are all kinds of really weird spots on this map where you can place the turret behind one of these billboards, and it'll shoot through the bottom of the billboard because of how much ground clearance it has. Um, <clears throat> so, pretty pretty interesting stuff. I'm excited to see if the Torb comes out. It doesn't look like we're going to see it, but um, the Sombra will be here, and that I'm excited about. Let's go ahead and start off on Futuristic Cory. Interesting, the, the Ryan Winston defense as well. They're very peculiar to have this particular kind of uh, tank compass. Well, immediately you're going to be losing your McCree, forcing out the resurrection immediately. See, right? Especially when you don't have the Lucio to kill quickly, being able to get the resurrection off and remain in. The yes, so crucial. this is a pretty chaotic fight, all told. A lot of damage being kind of being funneled around. It's a weird combo you're seeing here, Winston Reinhardt. You don't see that a whole lot. But I, I really like what they're doing. They're using the Winston Assassin is get just super aggressive, pushing his way forward in the moment that he lands and forces the team to adjust and deal with him. You see the pin come in right from uh, Nice Yeti. Yeah, I, it definitely can work out to, to an extent. Actually, uh, Team USA did beat Ryan against... Canada with a Sinatra on the right heart of the and it actually did work out quite well. So it, it does happen from time to time, it's just, it's just very, very rare, and it's not when you see a lot of on Route 66, but again, just being able to just push the enemy back, and yeah, okay, you lose Assassin, but guess what? You have EMP, you have or you have... Oh, that's a big TNT. Going to get a ton of value out of that. Does pay for it with her life. Electric Walnut gets rest. That EMP catches four. The Earth Shatter comes out. Picks up two kills. And this is going to be the hold. Beautiful yeah, coordination coming out there between uh, Uphill and Nice Yeti. Probably not getting as many kills as you would have wanted with that, though. And, and, uh, honestly, like, yeah, you push the enemy team back. Yeah, they all get... Not, not getting those frags, now the pale is going to be making some progress. High noon, drop. He does fall himself, though. The pale is finally going to start making some progress. The Gravity Fox may have been over. Hey, man. You know what we always say on these streams overkill is underrated. Sometimes it's about sending a message, you know? Uh, gotta, gotta let them know. Not trying to be played with. Uh, Wholesome's probably feeling a little frustrated that they got, you know, full health that first point with two and a half minutes on the clock to end in a draw. That's definitely oh, not what they wanted. Oh, picks up the kill. That's high value target. Yeah. Kiwi goes down. Kills coming through for the Wholesome squad. Oh, yeah, I don't know primal what rage. This contest. Primal rage into the back line. Doesn't get a whole lot. Assassin goes down. Futuristic Cory finds a kill on Distill. Earth Shatter gets wasted right into the waiting shatter of Supreme Penguin. Man, and the Penguin Yeti duel of uh, duel of Reinhardt's is really something to behold. Yeti Penguin uh, is it like a like a that's like a South Pole reference, the Battle of the South Pole. I suppose uh, I don't know where the Yeti is located. Honestly, they're located in your heart. Wherever you want them to be, man. <laughs> Uphill charging the EMP here. 98% It's going to have it any second now. Oh, and that's so juicy. He wants it now. Here it comes. Catches oh, five. The follow-up has got to be there. 
to pre penguin waiting with the earth shatter in the wings trying to counter this picks up Yeah, the patience. The of the but again, again, there it is. Oh, the counter charge finds only he assassin. Getting the follow up kill. Another block mm. shatter. Dude, Supreme Penguin is just winning these mind games left and right. The charge comes through. Looks like Supreme Penguin's going to be pinned. The have been big, but there has not been the follow up whatsoever. And there absolutely has to be, and he's doing so on the Sombra too. Seventy-three percent to another yeah. EMP, nearly three quarters of the way there. There has to be follow-up. There just isn't, and like you're getting in, your ride is swinging, but just all the healing is just yeah. working out so so well. Yeah, they're they're doing. It's almost like they're doing what they need to do to initiate the fight. Is this is this for real? He wasn't even invisible. Oh, dead eye now. Bit of zoning. When we get the immortality field. There's another huge EMP. Man. Catches all six. What? Where's the damage? Twisty thing is Help. Help standing there. <laughs> Help him out, man. The EMP is more effective when it was taking the stream offline, dude. Yeah, yeah, right? Oh, uphill has four health. Yeah. No. Oh. A little bad manners. Okay. And he, the thing is, too, he's one third of the way to another one. He is not the issue here, man. He is doing a phenomenal job. I, I yeah, like doing... he, he's been like in the back. He's been farming these up, and with any other team, I feel like, hey, you would be winning right now. You, you, like, I, I don't think the payload would have gotten the first point. It could be a communication though. issue, least, right? Like, definitely like, not now. If there's not enough prep, if the team doesn't know the EMP is coming. You know, you're going to run into issues. Distill's going to swap over to the Widowmaker. I like this pick. Uh, he's going to try and find some of these high-value kills. Find those four heads, buddy. Ooh, he wants it. Doesn't find it. Not there. Ooh, futuristic Cory Picks up the kill on uphill, and it looks like Wholesome Squad just going to continue to kind of walk this puppy into point three. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 almost picks up... The retreating Fred. And the too. They, they have so many tools available to them. Uphill now swapping on the May. It's all about the stall at this point, it looks like. Still on the Widowmaker, not gonna matter. Valiant effort. Oh, oh my god. And dude, I, I honestly, like th this last point, it really looks to me like the game is being won and lost on the front lines. Like, yes, we're, we're talking a lot about uh, about the, the kill feed and the DPS players, but it really looks to me like Supreme Penguin and E are doing their job as tanks, creating space and disrupting and allowing uh, Andrando and Futuristic Oreo to do work, to put in that damage because there's so many resources being dedicated to try and keep Supreme Penguin and E in line. It, in, in my mind, Assassin and Yeti have got to, they've got, they've got to step up and start winning some of these duels. It's, they're they're going to need to either step up the aggression or uh, dial up the communication. I like this. Yo, full dive. Dial, woo, a kiwi? Kiwi. Are we going to run Ana with dive? Yeah. I mean... Attackers you can run a brig with that. Yeah. I, yeah. You could. It's, it's all about the armor packs, right? You would basically just give the divers the armor. I think it's with, uh, with Doomfist is diving in, right? He gets his passive shields from doing damage. What do you think so, of running the Genji instead of a Tracer? Like, I, I feel like Tracer is just going to give you so much more value. I think it's the double barrier. It could be difficult. The McCree can shut you down pretty well. Uh, um... It's, it's just maybe, I think it might be just a comfort thing also, but plus it's just like access to the Yeah, let's get some let's get some diva play on stream here. We're gonna start off check, checking out nice yeti um, See what we're gonna do here. I like what they're doing here This diva is gonna be critical to shutting down Androndo and futuristic Oreo, right? Like yeah, you know, I, I feel like every tank available in the pool has been played in this game Yeah, yeah, you're right you're Exactly right uh, They're going to try and find it right here. Nice. Pushing the Moira off the top. 
Oh, uh, unlucky mismanagement of resources. Not what you like to see, but you know. No, it's a good first uh first place victory, not letting the panel to get very much progress and we yeah, man, this, this could this could be a wholesome squad's first three of the year. Yeah. Death Streak Assassins trying to keep the dream alive here. Doing a little bit of resetting. You're going to see Death Soccer Kitty swap off of Zen over to Moira. A Kiwi's going to pick up Mercy instead of Ana. Full swaps all around, actually. The only person that stays on their hero is Assassin. 44% to that Earth Shatter. So they're going to be down in ult economy here. You see uh, both the Deadeye and Bob coming online. There comes Bob doing something into the back line here. I just get taken out though, but you can't be losing uphill like that. And down goes Salad as well, so things definitely looking uh, a bit dire. Gotta play behind your shield. I, I like Distill's pick on the Widowmaker. But he's trying to be a little too flashy, I feel. Yep, huge. So he, he does it again. Futurist Wario doing a phenomenal job here of understanding just how long that Deadeye needs to be charged so that he can break the shield and get a kill behind it. Love to see it. Yeah, depending on how many people are behind it, right? Because it's like, that's how the did I will. Yeah, right. So, really well done. A uh, minute 40 on the clock coming in here for Death Streak Assassin's gonna try and get their footing, make something happen. A couple of swaps coming through. Big Earth Shatter? I don't... Fire strike, yeah, getting some value, but fire strike, uh, number way around, and picking out a salad. Yep, Kiwi salad's gonna go down right here. Uh, unlucky. Cole Lessons got used by Soccer Kitty as well. You see that, and gonna be taking out now as well. And a minute fifteen, nice late kill onto Electric One. Gonna be forcing out the resurrection. If it's available, it won't be on the time. 60 seconds on the clock here for Death Streak Assassins. Backs against the wall. You gotta make something happen, dude. If you've got a pocket pick, if you've got some cheese comps, now's the time, dude. Last game of the last game of the day. Can't hold anything back. A couple of kills starting to come online. You see Kiwi Salad's gonna go ahead and pop Valkyrie right out of the gate. You're gonna see Gravity Flux coming out right now. Trying to find this kill on... <clears throat> yep, there it is. Dude, that felt a little bit personal. Going straight at Andrando. They're going to need to contest the res, though. It will come through. Yep, there it is. Andrando back in the fight. Full 6v6 here for both teams. Unlucky, dude. Bob coming through. They got to get out of here. This is going to seal the deal. Picks coming through oh, on both sure. sides. 5v5. Ash That's not what you want to see. No, Cole Wesson's coming up now, too, and Gravitic Flux. Oh, damage coming through on both sides. They're not going to be... Are they going to be able to touch? Yeah, they are. Okay, so you see, he's, he's able to get there. Nice yet, he's able to get to the point, put the baby toe on. He's going to go get burned down from the Coalescence. High Noon in the back, picks up a kill on Uphill, and that's, that's going to be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Was a... I wish I could call it a dolly... But I just can't. Well, that's going to be wholesome squad. Their first victory no. of the year now. And you know what? I, I said that for these two teams, I said it was going to be a close series. It was in the story, in the score, final score being two. Dude, I thought they, I thought they patched out uh, these types of play of the games. Feels a little disingenuous after the absolute nuts nail biter of a game on Volskaya. Like, you know, this is this is where we end up on. So, unfortunate, but great gameplay all around from both teams. Congratulations to the wholesome squad uh, who go ahead and take. Don't see this off half away. Infinite and Oria, same cube position. Seventy. What was that, Mazza? You cut out. Your mic was kind of kind of cutting in and out a little bit. Uh, there. Oh, the same kill participation. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, so wholesome squad takes takes map four uh, three zero to finish the week two or finish the the day two one. 
Um, so they do get the win, two map wins to go along with it. So it's going to be huge. If you're new to CGL, thank you for stopping by. We do these. We uh, host the Overwatch tournaments every. The Overwatch tournament is a 10 week tournament, but we stream matches every Friday night here on Friday Night Overwatch. Uh, it's been an absolute hoot. These games have been crazy. We've had everything from, uh, you know, five man uh, quintuple kills, five man dead eyes. We had Sombra's EMP take out our capture card. Uh, and we had to force some uh, production changes here mid midstream, but it, it's been a, it's been a fun fun match. If you enjoyed what you watched tonight, <clears throat> you know, please uh, share us on on Instagram, like us on Facebook, give us some comments on Twitter. We appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Uh, tell your friends if you are just finding us from social media and you aren't currently on a team we are still taking teams um see or excuse me we are still taking players you can still sign up as a player join our discord all the information is there or you can find it on our website exclamation point website will get you a link to all of that information um from all of us here at cgl it's been a phenomenal evening maza do you have any kind of post game uh, wrap up or analysis or any quick takeaways that you would give for for either of these teams anything you want to kind of run down before we hop off i think just learn get better to follow up on the emps and i think <clears throat> you have a phenomenal summer player take better advantage of that and you will go and hard carry um yeah you know and uh you know blizzard should fix uh play the game <laughs> yo who would your who would your mvp be if you had to if you pick someone that you were like you know what this is the this right here this is the legend who's your uh who's the ev who's the mvp so hey, chat you tell us who your mvp is as well we'd love to we'd love to know but uh who's the, who's got the who's got the maza star of the night uh probably be uh sombra not the sombra sorry the uh ash or wholesome i forget the uh the player i actually backed out of the Oh, Andrando, yeah, and dude. So the the crazy thing about Andrando, and you kind of see it, is when they when they kind of got in the zone, started finding the finding the four, like right there on Volskaya, right? They're untouchable. Couldn't couldn't do anything to stop it. Um, incredible. Love to see it. I think, dude. I I think I I gotta go. I gotta go. Soccer Kitty, man. I really like seeing Soccer Kitty play all those supports. I I know I'm picking an MVP on the team that lost. And not a uh, not a DPS, but I, I really liked what they were able to do, especially on Numbani running um, running Zenyatta. I, I thought it was inspired. I thought it was really flexible. I think Soccer Kitty played every support in the book, except maybe Brig. I don't think they played Brig. Um, I think they point. did play Brig at one point, but it didn't work out too well. Gotcha. I think it was like maybe like one push, and then they said, you know what, and then they uh, got off of it. Fun stuff, man, fun stuff. Well, great job, guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, tell us who your MVPs are down below. We want to know. We may put some, um, uh, put a couple of uh, polls out on, on Twitter to, to see if we can't get some more information on it. But if you got any clips from the evening, um, please let us know. We'll, we're going to pull some of those down. We post uh, weekly highlight videos. One of our casters, NSB United, puts those together every week. It's a lot of great content. Be sure to f check those out on YouTube as well. Um, oh, here, I will put in chat right now our information. So if you want to follow any of the casters, producers, or anyone that helped tonight, that's all of our information, our social medias. Please give us a follow. It really helps us out. From all of us here at CGL, thank you so much for joining us this week. Stick around. We're going to go ahead and raid one of our one of our uh, affiliated streamers who's currently playing Overwatch. So stick around if you want to check them out. Once we, you know what? Let's do this. Once we get into their channel, um, what do, what do we want to what do we want to flood their chat with, Maza? What do we want to say? Friday Night oh, Overwatch. Still... Friday Night uh, Overwatch. Do what? Sure. Just just do hashtag FNO. FNO. Hashtag FNO. And then they'll be like, what? What is going on? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take we're gonna take it out. Alright. Thanks so much for everybody. Have a good have a good rest of your evening. Stick around for the raid. Peace.